about him. What they're doing is they're allowing this remaining group of protesters who, from everything I've seen, has been largely peaceful. They mm -hmm. have been marching the streets. Uh, they are in violation of the curfew, but they want to get a message out. They understand this is civil disobedience, and I have not seen them do anything other than march. Uh, there have been some skirmishes with police earlier. There are reports of looting, but I have not seen it from this group. Uh, when I asked a couple of people in the crowd what happened with the looting, they said that it did not represent this particular group. And I, and I want you to meet Station McGinnis. I just, I just want to ask you a quick question. Um, you know, you're, you're still out here in violation of the curfew. Yeah, why, are you still, curfew. Why, why are you still marching? Because I matter. My family matter. My friends' affairs matter. I got nephews. I got nieces. I got sisters. I got a mama. I got a daddy. I got friends. I got peers. I got all these people standing right here. They fucking matter. Their lives matter. Nobody gives a fuck about us. Okay? Unless we get violent. Let's go for all the shit being burned yep. down. But what about Jeez, the KKK burned our shit down? That's right. What are y'all then? There's a lot of passion. What are y'all complaining about? Fuck all Nazis. Right, right, right. They fucked up generations of generations of kids. So you can hear the passion. Give yeah, yeah, them peace. You can hear the passion in your voice. We stand for the people who can't speak for themselves. We stand for the ones I who love you. The ones who can't stand up no more because they don't have a voice. That's anymore. right. We stand for peace. We're here. We stand for equality. We stand for unity. I'm here for you. We stand for love. No justice. Fuck all Nazis. No Neo Nazis. No She's the one who's been leading the chant as they march through the streets. And you can hear it in her voice, Chris. That is the passion that a lot of the people have brought onto these streets here in Long Beach, and they say they want to keep getting that message out. Chris? The understandable uh, pain in, in her voice and outrage based on what she's seen. And look, you have to understand, uh, and if you can't understand, you have to listen and try to absorb that. Please, uh, you why all would you wake listen up. to the message to go home and observe a curfew as someone who respects the law when you don't believe the law is being respected when it comes to you? And you vote and you organize and you say that you want better and it doesn't get better. At what point do you turn to this? Now, people will judge it, that's fine. Everyone uh, listen to this video, please watch the color purple. The you should also judge what happened in the 60s that led to the Civil Rights Amendment. And other films uh, regarding these people that have the been impressed. major movements in American history have started at the grassroots level. Is that to stop now? Have turned into direct conflict I do not want to see this country become government. Nazi Germany. So, remember your history before you judge your present. Kyung, you keep walking with them. Kyung, let me ask you something. Where are you in, rea in relation to Santa Monica, California? And what have you heard about uh, presence there and looting there and things out of control there? What we, we are about, I would say about a 25 minute drive south of Santa Monica. Long Beach is another beach community, um, but very different, has its own personality, has its own people. Um, the, what we're hearing out of Santa Monica is that it, it began just like this protest began. A lot of people gathering on the streets peaceful, gathering to get a message out, and that a certain contingent went and started looting. So there are two stories out of Santa Monica. If you heard what the police were saying this morning yes, please uh, stop in, in, a, in a press conference this evening, is that the larger story of gathering yeah, I understand. To, we need to start anarchy a national in order dialogue, for change. Even though this is California, they are issues that relate to everything. New buildings, so rebuild. that's a major story. But then the looting took over, and they believe that that is bad actors coming in and trying to hijack the larger story. So that is okay. what we're hearing from Santa Monica. The damage we saw, Chris, the damage was intense. It was right. surreal to see so much of that shopping district have everything smashed out and people walking with items, their arms full, that they've just pulled out of a Patagonia store. It was just surreal. It's right. stunning. Uh, a lot of opportunists yeah, in the same situations life. like this. Kyung, stay safe. Stay safe with your team. Uh, and let us know when you want to come back to us. All right, let's take a quick break. When we come back, 